Previously on the Intos. So far, that's the shape. I've been I had that for a while. Only now getting around to part two, so shit. I guess let's just get started. Everything's all laid up now. Uh, now I start to put down some resin and get this mat soaked up. There we go. Yes, day two. Uh, start to demold it, obviously, because I was getting a little anxious. But um, everything set up nice. Just gonna have to, uh, I guess, go get some shims and run it underneath the fiberglass and finish taking out the the rest of the mold around this um, piece that I molded. All the edges are up obviously but um need to get this piece popped off and uh flip it around and then do the underside so here we go
finished with the top half now moving on to the the frame the support frame yep so what I'm gonna be doing as you can see it has a little bit of rust well a lot of rust that's one of the main reasons why I'm redoing the hood I'm gonna start taping off these holes and uh basically getting the, the, the area ready for the framework that's the new move let's go in the rear and the hook in the front I think I'm gonna go and um, I might just go ahead and do some hood pins with the little latches on it and uh, get rid of that hook uh, like I said I'm gonna leave these studs here um, just work around it I'm not gonna I'm trying to save the hood I'm not trying to destroy it so uh, yeah, um, next step is to wax it and start laying the fiberglass. Next step is get some, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do epoxy or the black sealer, or I might just mix up some fiberglass uh, mat with some resin and just, uh, run along the edges. So do some top screws to hold down the, uh, the forms while they, while they, to hold down the, the forms together while it's dry. I think that's gonna be the best bet. Um, yeah, um, I know I have a little bit of gap inside here where the uh, scoop was made. So I'm thinking if I should cut it and um, redesign in, in the internals around the scoop, or if I just uh, leave it floating. I think I might just leave it floating but we're going to see how it goes um, underneath here since um, the scoop starts in front of the very front of the, um, the hood has a gap in front like I said I might go ahead and cut these down and either fill it in down in the slope so it can connect or I might just leave it like that. 